Welcome back, everybody. I'm using advanced puppetry now to control my arm. And up and down. Do you know, Jack Benny, who, you know, many of you won't remember, but Jack Benny, I don't remember him either, I'm just saying it. He used to always stand like that when he was doing his comedy. He would stand like that. He was very, very funny. He would have no place on this show. I, uh, he would do that. I think that's a funny way to stand. It's not, not as funny as this, obviously. But then... But then, what did Benny know about comedy? <laughs> My next guest is the founder and chairman of the Virgin Group. Please welcome Sir Richard Branson, everybody. Sir Richard Branson. Mike, you right. help yourself. Relax. We like to take. We're informal here, and I'm rather relieved to see you didn't fly in on a helicopter or bungee or you know come in on well, a moon you, hopper. It's or, you that's doing those sorts of things these days, I hear. I'm very kind of caffeinated tonight. I have to say, normally, <laughs> normally I'm a little sedate, but I'm I'm jubilant tonight, see, and I'll tell you why. Because I've been flying today, and actually I've I've been flying a lot. I know you. Have we got any footage? No, of me flying? I don't think so. Have we got why, any footage of me fly, flying? Why, why do you fly not to sort of show off about Because it. it's private for me. It's private for Yeah, yeah it's my, it's my you, private special alone time, worry, except worry, for when I'm in hotels. You're going to crash the plane, are you? Yeah, no, I, have you done solo? I have soloed, yeah. And I'm getting ready to fly alone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <okay>. I, uh, <laughs> Do you? <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, do you... Do you still you a virgin? Uh, well, virgin, I was going to say. Did you... Uh, do you actually pilot airplanes? Have you ever done that? Do you do that? I pilot balloons. Right. In fact, my first piloting a balloon experience was landing, crashing on a factory of a bread uh, bakery. Right. And the, well, you wanted the, the, the dough to <laughs> be nice and soft and a yeah, landing. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> and the, um, the, fire, the fire brigade had to come and get us down. And the cartoonist the next day in the local paper went, hasn't he got enough bread already? Uh. <laughs> Oh, of course, you are hugely wealthy, of course. I better suck up to you a bit more. I was rather letting that go. No, no, no. No, no. no. Well, well, all right. Thank you. Well, no. What about... Uh, <laughs> no, oh, magic fingers. I, uh... No, I was... Uh, piloting a balloon, I've, I don't know... I'm in a, don't they move terribly slowly? At 35,000 feet, they go very fast. Do they really? Yeah, I mean, when we, 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 we crossed the Pacific, you see. Yeah, and did and, you, have, you have oxygen? Oh, you'd have to yeah, have oxygen. Yeah, we, we, uh, we went, our average speed across the Pacific was 220 miles an hour, so wow. that's fast. Yeah, that's, that's not uh, bad. You enough. get, get yeah, right in the core of the jet stream, and um, you hold on for dear life as the top of the balloon goes... <laughs> your wow, that's right. very exciting. I mean, that, that is a lot. Now, why did, you get into, why did you form your own airline? Because I first became aware of you through Mike Oldfield's Tubular Bells, which was... Uh, an album that came out, when was that, 70, 72. 72? And you were like an independent record producer then, I yeah, guess. Yeah, we actually it? formed Virgin Records just to put his record out because nobody else would put it out. And, and it was a huge, huge it, hit, it, wasn't it? It, 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 was, it certainly helped pay a few bills. Right, yeah. <laughs> Do you still get a bit of, a bit of dough from that? A bit of a um, no, we don't get any, any money anymore, but... Um, I'll play it on the show you'll get he's got, he's got 20 bucks He's got a new big hit album at the moment. Has he think. really? Yeah. No, no, that's, I'm um, glad to hear that. He's a good, uh, incredible, he just played every instrument himself. Beautiful sound. It was very good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the soundtrack to The Exorcist, actually, wasn't yeah. it, for about the... And then Omid Om 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 Dawn was his third album, which is even more beautiful, I think, of anybody. Do you, are you still heavily involved in the music side of things, or do you not really... Not really. Yeah. Um, it's no, all airplanes now. Yeah, we got, we're going, you know, getting, getting off the Earth, going into space and things like that. How, is that going to happen? Is there going to be commercial space travel? Are you going to be part of that? There is. We've got the, uh, the mothership being unveiled in six weeks, six months' time, and, and then we've got the spaceship being unveiled in 12 months' time. What's and then the mothership, then? The yeah. mothership is the big ship that carries the spaceship up into, into about 60,000 feet, and then the spaceship drops away, and off it goes at... 4,000 miles an hour into space. And how would, how would a gentleman get on that? Uh... <laughs> a couple of hundred thousand dollars would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I refer you to my original. Yeah. 
But no. we, have, we, have, we have an even more exciting project we're working on with Google, um, which is called Virgil. Um, Virgil. Virgil. Oh, yeah. Gin? Google. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, uh, and that is a plan to, ja to build a giant Noah's Ark, um, which will basically... I mean, we're going to be looking for volunteers. It'd be interesting to see if anybody in this audience would want to go. But um, it, where, it, it, where do you want to send them first? Well, it's it's, <laughs> it's a it's a one way flight, and it's it's to, it's to I've it, got a it, couple it, of it, ideas it, for it, you. It's, yeah. it's, the, the, the idea is to colonise Mars. So the, the but the, the so it'll be a one a one way flight to Mars, um, and as Larry and Sergey who are um, you know, the owners of Google have, have, have agreed to put a, a lot of money into it and we hope it'll take about 10 years um, but we think it'll be a realistic. A one-way trip to Mars? It's a one-way trip and uh, we think there will be people. I mean, we've, we've started working, finding people and getting out there to find people. Yeah. Um, we think about one out of every 10,000 people uh, would be willing to leave Earth and you know, in the same way that you know, people from Scotland went out looking for you know, Amer <laughs> America once. <laughs> And you, ended, you ended up in America. <laughs> no, I agree. I see where, you, I see where but, you're going. Yeah. But we are looking. We are looking for comedians to go. You know, it needs a bit. Of, you know, if you, if we've got, we're gonna have. We're gonna, we're gonna have oh, we're gonna, you're a funny man. We're gonna have. A, <laughs> and I we're suspect have you're insulting 30. the <laughs> of me right now. <laughs> We're going to have about 30 people on this spaceship, and they need to be entertained, so, you know. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. And I'm, I've, talked to you, I've, t I've, talk <laughs> I've talked to a few people who know you, and they think that you should, you should, you should volunteer. I do, li I do Your like... Your best friends think you should volunteer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's a, it's a very long way to send alimony, though, <laughs> yeah. from, from outer space, so I don't know if that'll happen. Yeah, anyway. I love the fact that you, that you push yourself like that, though, that you push yourself to the frontier of that. Is that the future for, for space exploration? It's not government? It's, 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 it's private enterprise, do you think that's the way it's going to go? I'm, I, I think governments play, certainly will play a role, but I think governments should generally get out of any business and, and you know, I mean, put up, you know, prizes to try to encourage uh, yeah. private, private individuals to do it. And, you know, I think, I think Virgin Galactic Airways will... You know, we'll bring, bring, bring yeah. space travel to thousands of people. I know, you, you've opened up, because uh, I've used your airline before to get back to, to the old country, but I've never, you, do you have an airline in America now as well? Yeah, we've got a, a wonderful airline called Virgin America, and you should have used it by now. I, I, <laughs> they, thank you. <laughs> they, um, I've um, been flying my little Cessna. I got, <laughs> I, you, I got, you know, I get to go up in a little Cessna yeah. and... <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah, we, 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 we won't actually let you touch the controls of Virgin America. <laughs> we, 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 you, can, you, can, you can peek around the door. If right, that's well, right. I think that's probably reassuring, that's reassuring for most reassuring. people who would travel on, on um, your airline. Is we, it something that always... We might let that Larry King guy you know, that was playing earlier, he could, he could, you know... He, you don't want to get Larry King no. in a pressurised environment, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> that is the last thing you want. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> it squeezes it, it squeezes it. That's a very bad idea. <laughs> well, <laughs> wasn't he good as Larry King? I, uh, I, but I'm, I'm very glad you came to visit us on the show. I'm fascinated by, by, your, by your enterprise and your spirit, and I applaud it. I, re I really do. I'm, I, I just think it's, it's wonderful. That you, so stay at it, and let's, let's explore space. I'll go for a couple of hundred bucks. I'll go. <laughs> so Richard Branson, everybody, we'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, excuse me. It's getting late, you know. I mean, I think that if you've stayed with the show this long, you've got to ask yourself a couple of questions. Why? Are you really that lonely? But I think it's been an interesting show. For example, what do you think we learned tonight? Well, we learned that I shouldn't really drink coffee before the show, I think. Or take my extra hit of crystal meth. <laughs> we, uh, we had some wonderful guests on the show. <laughs> we had, uh, it's all right, it's only skin. <laughs> we had some uh, wonderful guests on, Aisha Tyler was here. And we learned from Aisha that hotel sex is better if there are two people in the room. <laughs> 
Let me rephrase that. At least two people in the room. <laughs> we learned that I have one sexual position that I like. Or indeed, no. Uh, we also learned uh, from Sir Richard Branson that rich people respond to massage. <laughs> we learned that uh, Sir Richard Branson would like me to be the face of Earth as we go into space. I think what we learned is that Richard Branson is clearly insane. <laughs> but he's very wealthy, so I kissed his ass anyway. <laughs> we also learned that Richard Branson founded Virgin, but Aisha Tyler is not one. <laughs> <laughs>